All right, Instagram in the world. I've had uh, quite a few requests of me doing a uh, build bio. So here we go. Uh, this is the uh, bio on my 87 Cutlass Supreme. A lot of this I've done myself. I uh, bought the car in 2001 as my first car. Drove it daily with 307. And then uh, ended up putting a small block Chevy in it. Drove that for a few years. Took it down for a resto in 2009. No, 2010. And uh, went all out from there. So I'm going to go over this, try to go over it quick, not drag it out. I'm going to go body mods first. So here we go. Uh, this car went in for suspension upgrades and turned into a full body off nut and bolt restoration. Uh, it was a factory hard top car but somebody put the vinyl top on it and so the vinyl was pulled and the roof had to be skinned reskinned with another car so this car has a roof skin off of another 87 cutlass that i found it has new quarter panels new rocker panels uh floor pan on the driver's side has been re uh, replaced and part of the rear frame rail was been repaired as well. Um, custom touches on the body, on the bumpers, the bumperettes, which would have usually been like right here, those have been shaved. Uh, the bumpers are a uh, just a satin black basically. So I shaved those to make it look more sleek. the The whole theme of this build was to try to do it as a what if GM did kind of thing if GM were to build this car now uh, what would their take be on it and just kind of put my flair to it uh, one of the other things I got rid of was the hood ornament delete which would have been there I just think it looks a whole lot smoother had the uh, cow hood smoothed down to meet, meet the transition the hoods pop right now obviously so it doesn't look right but then also got rid of the antenna hole I have a hidden antenna mounted up underneath the dash which is pretty trick. It actually works pretty good. The color, luckily the sun is out today. So the color is just unreal in the sun. It is a PPG, PPG charcoal metallic. Um, not gonna give the exact code, but they all look pretty similar. It's a PPG charcoal metallic, has a lot of, a lot of metallic in it. Looks fantastic in the sun. Then what else? Let's see. I've got a Monte Carlo uh, laydown style spoiler. That eventually is probably going to get pitched. I've got some ideas in the works. Waiting on some companies to get back to me. So we'll see what happens there. But then the same with the back bumper. has been smooth compared to the factory. Which it just looks so much better. Looks a lot cleaner. All of the lights have been hand sanded by me. Uh, sanded everything down. And got rid of all the lettering on them and then they were all polished out for wheels i'm running um american racing vn 501s it's a 177 front 178 rear with a nitto what are those ntg 55 g2s Nice tires. So I'm running a 225 wide front tire, 255 wide rear tire. Runs pretty steady. I like it. Um, suspension wise, everything has been touched. Uh, we got factory front lowers just with new bushings. We have BMR suspension front uppers, tubulars with uh, urethane bushings. The rears are all BMR upper and lower. I have Hotchkiss mount braces on them. I'm running a BMR front sway bar that's massive. And then running a uh, rear uh, pro touring style sway bar off of a Chevy Blazer, which is just flipped upside down and mounts like the uh, UMI one does, which is, is pretty solid. Uh, other than that, I mean, headlights and everything has been polished out. All of the trim has either been powder coated or painted. Uh, most of like the grills and then around the tail lights, I, I, it's all plastic stuff. So I had to paint with, uh, I painted with Sim Trim Black is what I painted that stuff with. 
and just follow the prep process. And then, let's see, I'm gonna get under here, the crown jewel of my work. Um, I, did, I, I didn't do most of the body work, I didn't do the paint. Um, I'm the mechanical guy, so all of the mechanical is me. This is a um, 5.3 LM7 out of a uh, you know 2000 2004 Silverado with stock 862 heads. I pulled off of a Suburban. Um, coil packs are off of Tahoe Suburban Silverado. Same, they're the round heatsink style. Nothing crazy. Um, running a Tick Stage One Boost Cam with uh, BTR push rods, BTR platinum springs running a straw trunnion upgrade on it and then also have like the trick flow timing chain dampener inside that's anything inside that i could i mean it's stock bottom end motor but anything inside i could to make it stable and last for a while that was the goal running a lot of ict billet stuff i love their stuff icd ict billet makes some killer killer stuff for cheap um obviously running the holly efi mid ram and then i'm running like a uh kind of a hodgepodge drive system I'm running a camaro ls1 camaro power steering pump with a turn one billet pulley um camaro ls1 water pump that's the ac delco and then those are ict billet brackets and such uh running speed engineering stainless headers down to uh pipes uh two and a half inch stainless full stainless x pipe exhaust and behind this, uh, behind the 5.3, I'm running a 4L80 out of a Chevy van with a custom spec billet FTI converter that was built specific to my combo. That way it locked up right, it ran right, and I tell you, they nailed it. It does great. Uh, a lot of the other custom stuff in the engine bay, obviously, I just had these coil covers done. I bought them and then had a trophy shop laser etch the Oldsmobile into them, which I think is just pretty trick. It's just kind of a little special touch. The hood hinges are custom. They are Buick Regal uh, Grand National hood hinges, but then just modified into a one-piece design. And then I have some custom uh, stainless struts uh, specced out for me from a company that I got to work with. Also, let's see, Composite Envisions, it's a carbon fiber company. I uh, worked with them quite a bit to have, actually I made these frame or uh, body bars. They don't, I don't know if they really do anything, but they look cool. So those, and then the uh, battery was moved to the trunk. So I have uh, carbon fiber plates there. And I did get to work with a guy named Guy Smith with uh, Spectra slash K&N. We worked on intake design stuff. So it was pretty cool working with him design an intake that was simple, looked neat, looked kind of factory. Yeah, it doesn't really, but still looks cool. Other than that, you know, I'm running a Champion aluminum radiator. It's the dual pass LS swap style with uh, some spal, spall dual uh, electric fans. And then I'm running a, see I've smoothed my wheel wells. Until you look at like a factory wheel well, you wouldn't know the difference, but I smoothed them out as much as I could and make them look kind of kind of sleek and other than that running some garbage fiberglass hood i'm not even gonna mention the brand took way too much work to get it ready and i still am not happy with it but it is what it is so there's the uh the engine and we'll go to the interior this is probably one of my favorite things here uh these are recent purchase here these are pro car elite uh buckets black vinyl the uh they matched the rear seat material which i had done for me and then i had a local shop do the door panels those are a matching sierra grain black vinyl and then i'm rocking a uh, monte carlo center console that i modified to fit my hearst that's a v-matic 3 model so that way it works with the four speed trans i had to do quite a bit of work to make that fit but it, it works right and then light, the reflection's kind of glaring, but Composite Envisions also, I got the uh, carbon fiber material from them to do all my panels, my interior panels too. 
and then the gauge cluster it's custom made i did that years ago auto meter gauges they work great down there i got some more gauges that's for a wide band etc and all my trim i just i wanted something to look clean simple nothing overkill i love the overkill stuff it's just not for me for my car i just i think this needed to be a clean build to give it that factory appearance and then uh that's a uh, forever sharp billet steering wheel that the uh the trophy shop that did my coil covers they actually did that horn button for me first so i gave them another opportunity and they knocked it out of the park with those coil covers and then what i did it's hard to tell with the phone but i painted the insets right here i painted those black to match the way the wheels look and then i have a like acc carpet and then cutlass floor mats uh, i'm kind of a junkie for the uh, rocket emblems i just think they're cool looking and actually the back inserts have rocket emblems embroidered into them i don't know if you can see that with the light out here but yeah so there's that and then i've got the uh the trunk which i just finished over the winter i was pretty proud of that i've never really done interior work so then basically i did some custom panels to close out everything and i have my battery it's a uh, odyssey extreme battery hidden down underneath that way everything's tucked away hidden nobody knows it's there but it's mainly there just keep it out of the way and like i said with the trunk the main thing was just try to keep it as clean as possible got to do some uh upholstering for the first time it was kind of sketchy but i had some good people behind me helping me out anytime i had a question oh let's see what else i don't know i think that's it everything else i mean it's got factory glass in it that's actually the glass from 87 the windshield that's eh, a little old but it works factory door glass factory quarter glass um frame has you know factory other than painting everything this was a legit nut and bolt restoration uh, i'm not sure how good this will show but everything has been touched from front to rear the whole frame has been painted prepped and painted with pour 15 to protect it for years to come um i don't obviously drive it every day so the main thing is to keep it keep it in good shape got way too much money in it just to beat it up so um i think that's gonna do it thanks for tuning in there she be y'all have a good day